What is up guys, Blue Sun JRPGs here, bringing you my latest video. This time I am going to be bringing you my first impressions on Final Fantasy XII, The Zodiac Age. So this was a game that I wasn't probably going to buy a couple months ago, or a couple weeks ago even. But you know, Sword Art Online vs. Axel World decided to be punk ass bitches and come out only on digital. So I decided to support Square Enix, support a company that actually was going to give us a physical copy in the US. And off the bat, I want to get it out there that I am not the biggest Final Fantasy fan. I'm not going to claim it to be, but I think that puts me in a good spot to review the game. I'm not coming at it from someone who is a diehard, someone who has rose-colored glasses who thinks everything's perfect, or overly critical for that matter. Um, I do love Final Fantasy games, but it's not my favorite series, so I think it puts me in a good spot. Uh, but just first impressions on this game. Um, looking at the game, I thought the game looked really, really beautiful. Um, it doesn't look as good as Final Fantasy XV. That's obvious. Um, it's probably not even coming through in the in the uh, background that I'm showing you, just because I think the background in the desert actually is pretty good. But when you go into the actual cities and you actually speak to the characters, you can tell it's, the animation just isn't as good as Final Fantasy XV. And that's okay, because it is a remaster. Um, so I don't think anybody really expected it to be as good, or quite as good as Final Fantasy XV. But it still looks beautiful nonetheless, and it's definitely a, a great upgrade for this game. I think Final Fantasy XII is probably the most underrated Final Fantasy game. Um, there's so much, there is so much hate about Final Fantasy XIII that's always talked about. There's so much, so much talk about Final Fantasy VII, VI, uh, Final Fantasy III, um, Final Fantasy XV. They all get talked about, but no one really ever talks about Final Fantasy XII. So I was really happy they decided to actually come out with this one again. You know, I'm actually loving the combat too. It's a little more fast-paced than a traditional turn-based JRPG, but it's a little bit slower than um, Final Fantasy XV. I hate to keep drawing that um, comparison, but it's the most recent game. Um, I feel like it gives a lot more opportunity for strategy. I know we're in Final Fantasy XV, for me anyway, I got a lot down to button mashing. I didn't even use much magic in Final Fantasy XV, which is a shame, because that's a major part of, of Final Fantasy games, is the magic. Um, so I think this game is going to definitely allow us for a lot more tactics, or a lot more um, use of other skills other than just the sword. You know, the only main points of criticism I would have to this game so far have been just that it takes a little bit, a little bit of time to get into the detail, into the fun stuff. Um, the tutorial was a little bit boring for me. Um, it was really, really basic stuff like how to open a door, how to speak to people, like stuff that, stuff that anybody who's played any game before, not even an RPG, any game should know how to do. Um, so I thought that was a little a little boring. There was really no option to skip that either. Or none that I could see anyways. Um, I know, I, I did like the choice of job classes. That was really cool. And that was one of the big selling points of this game. I know that. I did like that. Um, but the other criticism I did have was the voice acting. You know, not, not particularly the voice acting, I should say. But the way the characters' lips, I guess, didn't match up with the voices. <laughs> it was such a, it was a small, it's a small thing, I know. But it was way off. It really kind of drove me, <laughs> drove me a little crazy. I was just focusing on that for probably a good 30 minutes or so while I was playing the game. I was just focusing on that, and I wasn't even focusing on what they were saying, really. And that's obviously a, a major drawback. You know, maybe what I should probably do, I guess, is if it's going to be a big problem for me, a big problem for me moving forward, is maybe I'll just switch over to the Japanese language and have English subtitles. That's probably what it's actually lined up for anyway. So maybe that'll be a little bit better. So would I recommend this game? If you're a Final Fantasy fan, a big one, you've already bought the game. Um, if you're a diehard fan of JRPGs, you know what you like about Final Fantasy or what you don't like about it. And this is a Final Fantasy game, so you know if you're going to enjoy this game or not. Um, what I would say is the people who played Final Fantasy XV, who liked that game, um, that was maybe their first JRPG or first RPG in general, um, I don't think this game would be for you. The combat is a lot slower paced. While being faster than a regular JRPG, it's still slower paced than Final Fantasy XV. So maybe pass on this one. But guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more content, be sure to subscribe.